Greetings and welcome to Win Win Life. This is Yanitza Boyajiron, Deputy Editor from Telecom TV. We have three esteemed guests with us today, and they will share their experience and perspectives on ZL being the first French operator to offer Huawei's FTTR or Fiber to the Room solution to its reunion customers. Let's welcome Emmanuel Andre, CEO of CEO, Nasir Gulamali, President of Oseindex, and Bingo Wang, President of Huawei Network Marketing and Solutions Sales Department. Nasir, last year Zeop announced its FTTR strategy. Can you tell us a little more about this plan and what you hope to achieve? Yes, good morning. Um, this is a huge opportunity for us to show you that what we have done in Reunion Island, it's a new chapter for us. Uh, Reunion Island is the first French department to have the FTTH uh, ready for all customers. 95% of our customers have already access to FTTH and 80% have already bought a FTTH plan. We have uh, 30 years ago brought the fiber optical from the sea, then to the houses uh, 10 years ago by massively deploy this FTTH project. And now it's a new chapter for us for uh, giving our customer the opportunity to go further in the homes. So FTTR, fiber to the room is something very unique and very important for all our customers in Reunion Island. And we are very happy to announce this in this uh, Mobile World Congress in 2024. Emmanuel, Zeop is the first operator to launch FTTR in France. Why did you choose this solution for your home broadband? Hi, uh, Yenitsa. Uh, this solution was the best for us, according to us, to cater for the needs of our customers. Now they benefit from uh, FTTH. The question uh, is to address all their needs within the house with FTTR. First, starting with a box, uh, FTTR ready box, and then all the mini boxes, we are able to deliver the very best experience to our customers. See. Emmanuel, what challenges do you think you will encounter during the large-scale development of FTTR and in the future? That's a good question, Yanitza. We decided to go on a large-scale basis because we think that everybody should be able to be eligible to uh, FTTR. So we decided to change our traditional plan to move to new plans with the same price but with a box FTTR ready. And that's the first step of our strategy. And from there, uh, we can deploy the full FTTR installation to the customers who will really need this uh, technology. We aim at 5, 10, maybe 15% over the next two years uh, within our customer base. To cater for these needs, we trained a specific uh, team of uh, installers and we start with an expertise where we take one hour to make the right diagnosis with the customer himself or herself to decide whether we switch on the uh, Wi-Fi on a bedroom or whether we switch off. We, where we have a, a position where you have a remote worker and you really need 100% uh, bandwidth experience and then you decide to put the maximum spectrum on this room. So this expertise phase will be very important in the rollout of the technology for those 5-10% of customers who will choose the full deployment uh, with FTTR. Bingo, as we know, FTTR is a popular home network access solution right now. Could you please share with us the development of FTTR around the world? Sure. Up to now, the number of global FTDR users have exceeded 14 million users because of FTDR can really improve the up and reduce the chore rate with better Wi-Fi performance. ZEP is also one of leaders in FTDR service development. At MWS 2024, Huawei has launched the next generation FTDR products, FTDR F50 which have further improved the appearance and the performance, helping carriers to offer more attractive packages like cloud nuts. 
At the same time, we developing innovation self bond fiber to enable consumer DIY by themselves. We believe FTR will scale up in worldwide. Nasir, what is the value and impact on Zio after the FTTR is selected? You have to understand that uh, it's a huge impact for them, but it's a better impact for our customer because our customer will have a new era of FTTH and FTTR in each rooms. This will allow them to be uh, ready to do anything to do what any they want to do in all the rooms. The FTTR will be invisible and it will be safe and it will be very easy to install. So this is a new era for all our customers in Menu Adam. As we are the first to have deployed massively the FTTH 10 years ago, now it's a new chapter and a new era for us again. And I'm very happy to announce this uh, to all our customers in Menu Adam. Vivo, Huawei is deep cooperation with public carriers in FTTR services. What do you think we can learn Five years. Thanks for your question. I believe uh, that many carriers will consider this issue when developing FTDR service. I think uh, there are two key points. Firstly, facing up to the position of FTDR service. When the FTDR service was first launched, many people thought it's just a targeting for high-end users, just like uh, VLANs and large flights. In fact, more than 80% of FTDR users of uh, carriers we have subscribed for FTDR is one plus one packages. In addition, through proper FTDR package design, we can enlarge medium or high-end package. In this way, carrier can increase revenue and meet subscribers' requirements for high-quality internet access experience. Secondly, Standardized FTDR delivery capability is very important. FTDR is not just a new service for users, but also a service full of potential for our carrier's partner. So therefore, to support the FTDR service scale, the standardized delivery capability is particular, particularly important, we see, such as standard software tools, so the same day delivery and the network access, on-site Wi-Fi speed testing and acceptance. So this can improve the efficiency of installation and maintenance, reduce customer complaints and even some chargebacks. So enhance the brand influence and also can contribute sustainable revenue growth. Yeah. Thank you for joining us here at Wingling Live. See you next time.